Welcome to N54. It's time for your local news. Violence continues to plague the Badlands. Shootings have been reported along the 1, 166, and 1. Eyewitness accounts point to inter clan disputes. Attacks on unaffiliated persons have not exceeded. However, in an abundance of caution, the NCPD has raised the threat level to two, advising travelers to avoid side roads. We'll continue to keep you informed as the situation develops. Find a better massage in NC, Cali 1 or Cali 2. Right here, a curbside massage. No, no, gotta pay extra for that. for some company tonight? Could we go somewhere? Or is this a dark alley type of party? I ain't no scuzz ass slut. I got my own place. Uh, sure. Got some time to kill. Come on, baby.
something that'll keep you wet for hours. Show me what those hands can do. Ain't no other way to live. Follow me.
Show me the range. Almost this. Rub me. Got anything quality? Nothing so good as you bought last time. Hello. You wanted to talk? You stink of junk food.
Sure, we can pack, we can ride, but what then? The contract's dead. We've got no reason. to stay. You're the only ones breaking camp. Casal doesn't know when to quit. He's stubborn as a mule. Yet everyone listens to him because... Because he's head of the family? Because the Aldecaldas stay together? God damn it. Have it your way. We'll stay. Wish I were on the road. What are you doing, you freak? reason to live because we do What do I say? I am watching you. The road is the greatest teacher.
V, you're here. What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand Got right- Got no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Being unusually quiet. What's up? I see no point in arguing with Saul. We can't win. So, giving up? Of course not. We'll take the Basilisk ourselves, then wait for Saul to admit we were right. Either that, or to boot us out of the family. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection! Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea? How did you know? So I wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes! A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember, a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do, yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope, different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. No, you're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Thought you and Solid agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You wanna fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life, yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. And you plan to grab the basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh?
No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk and parts distributed it's across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! Okay. The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands playing me too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. So much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how, exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay. Let's get to work.
always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junction. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free? Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once? Perhaps more simply, hopefully. Okay, here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? Punch cards! What cards? Sure thing. Not a... Nothing here. Sort of Stone Age control oh, panel. something good job Carol we have a card what now you have to put it in the reader well V the card in the reader <sighs> here goes nothing that could V, I wanted to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish because I asked you to help me. But why are you doing this? It's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No. I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy, got eyes and ears on it? Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now.
They could still Sit your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. And a jack. Scorpion. Don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. Then it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Anything happens, wake me up. Unless you want a nap too. I'll just lie here a while. By your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, B.
I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Wait, no coming in hot. Take out that couple. Shoot out the damn coupler! Plan, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So 
Well, it begins. How are you? You know how it is? What's the meaning of this? Precisely. Exactly what you see. All, cooped up together. all I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment! And now we have Militech to worry about, too! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Hey, Bob, Lee. Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. Oh, we need to before I forget, some lady called me, Elizabeth something, said she had a job for someone with an eye for virtues. Told her to drop you a line. Just so happens, I already took that job. No shit. And? How'd it pan out? Hard for me to say at this stage. Right. Clients' confidentiality and all that. What else is going on besides that? Ah, uh, you know, same old. Rather hear what you've been up to. It was nice catching up. I'm right here, V. Call me anytime. You're about to know my rat. You hear about Santiago? Ever heard of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Why is folks suddenly recollecting Santiago? Friend of mine did a job with him once. That's one old friend you got. He's a legend, all right. Wouldn't say he was my role model, but well, he was the man for his time and place. Don't think he was all he was cracked up to be. They say he was a big city nomad, best of both worlds. Except there ain't no such thing. You... Doesn't loyalty to your friends count for something? Maybe it does, but then Judy. you end up like Santiago. So? Got a he snuffed it because some lunatic Damn wanted right, to go Arasaka to smithereens. Come over to mine tonight. What a friend. I'm gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? You got got something business. really I big. Got things to do. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Game is more stressful than life itself. Locust pepperoni. 
And lots of extra cheese. At a girl. So, I'll see you come evening. Of course I'll be there. <laughs>